Some breaking political news in campaign 2020 where it appears one of the Democrats hoping to get the presidential nomination may be dropping out right now. Political reporter Jack Fink, he is live in Dallas now with more on what he's learned in just the last few minutes or so. Jack? Well, Steve, this goes to show you just how fast things can change in the presidential race. Pete Buttigieg was supposed to have his rally here start at Main Street Garden at 6.30, less than an hour from now. And instead, you see a group of his supporters still congregating here in Main Street Garden, reacting to the news that, in fact, Buttigieg is dropping out of the race. I just spoke to a campaign spokesman who told me that Buttigieg right now is on his way back to South Bend, Indiana, where he served as mayor. He will be addressing his supporters at about 8.30 Eastern Time, 7.30 Texas Time, and confirming to them that, in fact, he is dropping out of the race. Now, there have been six new Texas polls since Friday, and Buttigieg has struggled. The Real Clear Politics average of polls shows Bernie Sanders leading with nearly 30 percent, Joe Biden in second place with nearly 21 percent, and Mike Bloomberg close behind with 18 percent. Then Elizabeth Warren, Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, and Tulsi Gabbard. Now, Warren's campaign is among those having volunteers making phone calls and going out to neighborhoods to do block walking, not just in Dallas, as we saw this afternoon, but all over North Texas. Warren campaigned in Houston yesterday. Later this evening, Bloomberg will be holding a rally in San Antonio. He canceled a rally in Fort Worth last week and did not reschedule there. Sanders came to Mesquite a few weeks ago and held rallies all over the state last weekend. He's attracting the most left-leaning supporters. But many people are talking about Biden's big win in South Carolina last night and what that means going forward for Tuesday. Biden won every county in South Carolina. Political analysts are waiting to see if any trends emerge on Tuesday. The polls mean people are moving to Biden. Very bad news for Sanders. If it means that it was a one-off and people in the people who want anybody but Sanders are still playing around, then Bloomberg could be interesting. Sanders could be or uh, Biden could be interesting. Now Tuesday, of course, is when Texas has its primary and 13 other states have their primaries. It's called Super Tuesday. Very important. Now back to the Buttigieg news. I was just talking to some of his supporters who expressed disappointment and surprise. They had been backing him all along and this raises the question, Steve, what is going to happen next? Is this race going to consolidate any further? on Tuesday night? I certainly think so. Steve? When you look at all of that, obviously with the delegate uh, count that he got yesterday in South Carolina with uh, Mr. Biden, obviously in the next 48 hours, as you mentioned, Jack, Super Tuesday, a very big deal now with this change just announced here with your reporting. Jack Fink, thank you so much. We appreciate it. See you back here later on at 10 o'clock.